So recently, we put together a video that drew attention to DK Metcalf's diet. Some people had questions, so we decided to further analyze how a diet for an NFL player like DK Metcalf is broken down. Again, we do not live with or work with DK Metcalf, so we don't see him eat every meal. With that said, let's talk. Hey, I'm Graham Sowell and welcome to Beyond the Arc. In today's video, we'll be breaking down high carb versus low carb, the purposes of a low carb diet for athletes, and how DK Metcalf compares to another receiver you may know who had a relatively low carb diet. In the previous DK Metcalf video, there were questions asking, why would an NFL player who is the size of the Incredible Hulk be on a low carb diet? Based on his GQ interview, DK said he tries not to eat a lot of fats and oils and tries to stay away from carbs and sugars, which is pretty vague. So let's first analyze the purposes of a high carb versus low carb diet. High carb first. According to NASM, carbs work as important fuels for athletes. Carbs are important. They enter the body as glucose and are then used as energy. This glucose is stored as glycogen in the muscles and liver to be used later for energy, delaying fatigue. When there is metabolic demand, it can be broken down into glucose. Carbohydrates are broken down relatively easily compared to fats and proteins and are a quick energy source for short bursts of energy. Carbs sound important, right? So why would an athlete want a low carb diet? According to Training Peaks, low carb means having a carbohydrate intake that is 25% or less of one's daily calorie intake. Low carb can mean different things to different people. So for the sake of argument, let's expand this to 35% or less. According to Healthline, when a person or athlete begins a low carb diet, the body will begin to fat adapt the concept of becoming more efficient at using fat as fuel. So an athlete on this diet would burn more fat while exercising, but why would an NFL player need that? Well, Healthline also said that when your body learns to burn more fat, it can help preserve muscle glycogen when exercising. This can help with the prevention of hitting the wall when exercising over long periods of time. It can also help with muscle to fat ratio, which would actually make sense with DK's rumored low body fat. Now, carbs are important, and as an NFL football player, DK is eating them. But there is a difference between no carb and low carb. Also, carbohydrate intake can have different effects depending on activity and sport. In the case of football, position. If you're a lineman, you're not going to be eating the same as a skill position like receiver. An average NFL player can take in around four to 5,000 calories per day. But again, that obviously depends on the position. Let's use a comparable example to DK, Brandon Marshall. You might wonder, why Brandon Marshall? Well, when he played, he was right around 6'5", 230 pounds. DK Metcalf is just under 6'4", and around 228, 229 pounds. By those metrics, they are very close. When playing, Men's Journal wrote an article about Marshall and his diet. How does it compare with the rumored low-carb diet for DK? In the diet they had written up for Marshall, out of the 3,285 calories he consumed in the day, around 42% of his daily calorie intake was from carbs. With this diet, Marshall went from 244 pounds to 225. He was able to stay energized and got up to 23 miles per hour on the treadmill. This diet showed he could be quicker and lighter on his feet. Now, the terms of low carb, moderate, and high carb can fluctuate depending on the person. 
For some, a 42% daily calorie intake of carbs may be considered low, based on a past diet. In general, you would likely consider this moderate or relatively low. Marshall's diet consisted of 3,285 calories per day, with about 357 grams of carbs, 269 grams of protein, and 99 grams of fat. This included six meals per day, from full meals to snacks. This isn't DK Metcalf, but a close comparison. DK is taking in a ton of calories per day, so having, say, one bowl of oatmeal that has a ton of carbs may be a relatively small amount with six to seven meals per day. So, based on what we have seen from DK Metcalf, a relatively low-carb diet does seem reasonable. The Brandon Marshall, or Bulls diet, if you will. While he does need carbs as an NFL player, DK is a receiver, so being light on his feet and being fast are key for his position. Genetics don't hurt either. Thank you for watching Beyond the Arc. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on social media at Beyond the Arc TV. We'll have new episodes weekly. See you then.